All right, hello YouTube, this is Ryan. I'm the developer of ZOA. And in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the new step options feature in ZOA 1.2. Uh, I think it allows for a lot more expression and variation in ZOA's voices. And I think it's pretty easy to use. You just have to know how to access it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So ZOA's had this pattern control for quite a while. And by the way, I just have Zoa going into the house mark one with a little bit of reverb. Uh, so we've had this pattern control and it allows you to kind of set a rhythmic pattern of when Zoa plays or rests. So let's just hear that. So we have a pattern length of one. If we increase the length, we can see the steps get dark and we're only playing one out of every six steps. So now we can kind of hear it moving through that rhythmic pattern. And you can use patterns of different lengths and, um, you know, plays and rests for each voice. And that can create a really kind of complex sort of system of, of rhythms and meters that, you know, take a long time to repeat. But now we have even more control with step options. So to access step options, you just press and hold on a step and this little menu pops up. We have articulation, which can be a hold or a tie. We have accents, which we actually have two. Accents can be positive accents. And you know that step gets a little bigger or a negative accent, and that step gets a little smaller. The accent amount is, by the way, set in the settings menu, which is up there. We have 2x, 3x, and 4x ratchets, and you'll see those are denoted just by that little orange dot. We have probability, and we can just kind of toggle through by tapping. There's some presets here, uh, so you have uh, always, you have 10%, 25%, 33, 50, 67, 75, and 90%. And then we have some kind of like electron style trig conditions. I've only included a few because I just want you to be able to kind of tap through them quickly, but I think it's enough to, to do a lot. So we have two colon two, or two out of two, which means you will play the second of every two times through the pattern. Three out of three, we'll play the third out of every three times through the pattern. And four out of four. Then we also have one X, which we'll play once and then rest the second time through the pattern. We have two X, which we'll play twice and rest the third time through the pattern. And we have three X, which we'll play three times and rest the fourth. We also have last and not last, which sort of depend on the, the previous like evaluated trig condition. And that includes both the probability and the condition. And what these are useful for is if you are like using probability, but you want a whole run of notes to have the same probability. Uh, so if you want, say, a string of notes to have a 25% probability of playing, I'll, I'll show you how how to do that, but that's also kind of on that electron style gear. And then we can also just reset those. So what let's do is let's just start with a hold and let's play. Let's maybe add a, a tie. I admit this sound isn't maybe the best for hearing ties. But what happens with a tie is um, the new note is played before the old note is released. Uh, so you may hear kind of like slurring if you're, you know, or like some legato if you're using the appropriate preset on your synthesizer. Let's give a ratchet on that one.
Let's give an accent here. Let's use some probability on these. So let's set that to be a 67% chance of playing. And let's set this one to last. What that means is that when the one before it plays, this one is also going to play. So we miss both. Yeah, so that's just kind of a getting started with step options, what they are and what they do. You may notice it might be a little frustrating that the current step isn't displayed. Um, that's something I may add in the future, but for now, I kind of like a little bit of ambiguity there. Um, I think if the user kind of creates with the idea of, oh, let's have some slur some ties here, let's have some ratchets there, let's some probability, uh, once Zoa kind of gets going, you know, it's not as important exactly where we are. It's just, you know, we want to see what ha what sort of becomes of what we've created. So for now, that step is is not indicated, um, and you have to kind of listen closely. Uh, but yeah, that's step options, and uh, I think it's a really powerful new feature on version 1.2, of course. These things all get saved in your presets. And um, just let me know how you like them. And hopefully you have fun with them. It helps you make more exciting and expressive music with Zoa. And um, if you like this, uh, you know, maybe leave a review for Zoa. It really helps with the longevity and the long-term success of the app. Subscribe to the channel. I make more tutorials. And I give updates on what I'm working on. So yeah, thanks and have a good day. Hope you have fun making music.